So, we are with Supi Benti Angel, leading solicitor and advocate in your be beautiful house overlooking the hills near Second Day. Supi, welcome to Africa Talks and Africa Next. Thank you. Yes, well, you've done so much. There are several dimensions I can talk to you about. But I will start with a unique experience. I know you were a member of the Committee of Experts, which drew our current constitution in Ghana. The proposals. Sorry. The proposals, the constitutional proposals. Mm. Um, I also know you had gotten into some problems with the Rollins administration for your work as part of the regional bar here in Second Italy. So if you put the two together, in your own mind, where, why were you appointed to the Committee of Experts? Oh, that's interesting. I mean, my appointment to the Committee of Experts, um, I don't know the basis of the appointment, but what happened was that the, actually, the then Attorney General, uh, Mr. Um, Tando, mm -hmm. was here. Uh, Mr. Tando's father. Mr. Tando, yeah. He made members of the bar asking for suggestions, you know, about the way forward. And I think he was highly impressed by my suggestion. So, when he went to Accra, he, uh, he sent the region, the, the, the authorized region, region minister at the time, to come and find out for me whether I was prepared to work on this committee. I said, why not? For my country. Even though I never really agreed with the policies of... Uh, Rollins. Rollins, that's right. Okay, this was a matter of uh, my, I love my country, above all things. And so I accepted the appointment. But as for the differences with them, you know, for us, I was the leader of the bar, and they couldn't understand why people should organize and or criticize them. And I said, look, yeah, we just, you are speaking our mind, that's all. And therefore, they, they tried to molest me. I was very... So you, are, you are arrested in 1983? Yeah, I was arrested. You know, I had gone to school to collect my children after school. And, you know, arrested me, seized my car, brand new Mercedes car. You know, and uh, the children were standing in the street even crying. Unfortunately, a friend of mine came and took them away. So you had to go into exile? I had to go into... Oh, the, what is that? They, 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 they detained me. They, were, they took me to the police to detain me. But I asked for bail to report the next day. But of course, when I, I left the post office, I said, well, these must be stupid people expecting me to report to them. <laughs> <laughs> the next day, I got into a different car and left Accra. And uh, I went to Accra. You know, I was thinking of going outside um, uh, Ghana for the time being. I knew of a number of places, but uh, a cousin of mine you know, told me that, uh, reminded me that my niece, my mom, who was in Lagos, they had a good apartment and they could comfort, conveniently accommodate me. So I spoke, I got uh, a ticket ready and I spoke to her husband, Kim Belosagi. He received me warmly and uh, that is it. I was in Lagos for how many? Three or four months. Then I flew to London for about a month. Then I had some very good friends in Germany. I went there too for another month. Just about that time, I was told that uh, uh, the government, uh, has, the, the, the then government, whether well, it was really a government or what, the, the ruling junta had stuck harassing people, that we could come home. So I flew back to uh, the, uh, uh, Ghana, uh, saying thank you to okay. all my friends. So you, you are an initial opponent of the regime, but for nationalistic reasons, you agreed to serve on the committee of experts. Excellent. What was the experience of the committee if you drew a constitution? It was a very interesting experience because they were very uh, well, highly respected people on the panel. Mrs. Justice Ani Jagi, mm -hmm. uh, Nana, some of the big... SKB Asante. SKB Asante chiefs, you know. And I knew, that, I mean, I could see from them that uh, 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 they couldn't operate freely. I mean, they tried to. In fact, I would the ones I saw, um, SKB Asante invited me to lunch or breakfast, whatever, to a meal. And he told me, frankly, look, I didn't know people were, were sort of was, were, um, and, uh, hated the regime. So that that that. Because he had come from abroad. He's come from abroad, mm. sitting there. You know, he had an accent. I never really knew this. I said, well, this is the point. You sit there, you come there, you won't talk to people like us. You go and listen to, you know, people who will not be objective. That's what I said. And I could see. You know, I remember once or twice at the meeting, I told Mr. Uh, 
Kebia Sanji, uh, lawyer, yes, uh, that me, if, if anybody thought I was coming here to uh, rubber stamp anything, then <laughs> I'm afraid they have chosen the wrong person. But I, I remember <laughs> you famously did not sign the first draft or something like that. Yeah, this is so. This is a very interesting point. Uh, after they had completed the first draft, you know, it was full of mistakes. So we went through and we asked, to, we made the corrections. And the thing was to be sent back, you know, uh, for the corrections to be uh, um, rectified, that's what, to be carried out. But I know these things. You give a, 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 a corrected pe a, a piece to a secretary, he goes and he does it, he does not even say the thing. He comes back with the whole thing. If you don't take it, you sign it. And they said because they were rushing and you have this, and now that you've made the corrections, and they were, time was against us, we could sign in advance before the correction. I said, look, my experience as a, as a lawyer trained at a saddle, I mean, a saddle, old boy, in London, uh, uh, well, uh, in soft court, I could not sign something for, I have seen. I mean, it was difficult to, 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 to object openly. So I let them pass the thing around. You know, uh, just before it got to me, I asked for permission to visit the gents. As soon as I left the gents, I jumped into my car. <laughs> I had a driver, you drive on to Chakwadi. I have more better business than signing today. So I came to Chakwadi you know, later, about uh, two days later, when the draft was ready, I, I went and signed. By the point is, the whole process was very controversial. I mean, I've heard Nana Santi uh, almost say with pride that, well, this constitution we drew up with under very controversial circumstances mm -hmm. has now become a very important instrument for that ensuring so, democracy. That is so. Your own bar association boycotted the constituent assembly or the consolidated assembly. Against my advice. My against advice. You advise them against that. Okay. Against that. Okay. We were at a meeting. And you know, it was a very hectic meeting. I told them I'm not only a member of the bar, but I'm a former national vice president of the Honorable Society. And uh, I, th I thought, you know, they, they should accept the offer, you know, and just uh, wait and see. If you think it's being useful, you attend. If not, uh, you just boycott it. You, you stay away. You see, and I think uh, I was proved right because later, after we boycotted it and they wanted to uh, make their views known, you had to go and call the press. Yes. Who yes. were intimidated. They, they would come, you have to pay them, and even they may not do what you do. You do, but of course, if you had been in the formal uh, mm -hmm. um, uh, structure, your 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 views will be recorded in the in the hands up, and that will have been yeah. something. And another so point, I, think I, I had a foresight in that yeah. matter. Another point that I want to put you on record on: Where are the papers of the committee of experts? Where are the what, papers? The papers, like the minutes and so on and so forth. Oh, the, I mean, the, the, with the government, I mean, KBS said you will be to tell you. They were with the government at the time. I mean, I don't know where the place they could have been. But but do you know, do you think minutes were kept? For instance, when you had meetings, did you have access to minutes of your previous meetings and so on and so forth? Do you remember that? Um, it's, uh, it, 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 my, my memory is rather faint on this, but, you know, we, 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 it was uh, so much... It was hurried. Much. It was hurried. Hurried, yeah. hurried. And, uh, I mean, uh, well, um, what they did, I, 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 I expected the records would be there for you to go and see. Because people, people, people did background papers for you. Remember Professor Maswell Owusu, I think Afarijan went to Germany and all that. Yes, yes. Sir. In fact, the Germany one, I, I was even prepared to go with them. But what, something, I, I had all the engagement or something for some reason. Hmm. But that's the idea. But this is all, um, it's a matter of uh, uh, sharing of uh, ass, ass, assignments. Mm -hmm, that's mm -hmm. right, yeah. but, uh, it was nothing that like we were trying to avoid any other papers or yeah, all yeah. that. Uh, oh, Supi, thank you very much. I know there are various aspects of your public life experience, and we shall interview you on other aspects as well. Thank, thank you, you very, very much. much. It's been delightful talking to you because uh, it, it, people um, don't have the courage or don't have the time to look into some of these things. But uh, I must congratulate you for showing so much interest in this. Uh, at a proper time, I can even give you more details. Thank you. Thank you. We'll definitely take up on this offer. Thank you very Thank much. You very much. Oh.